All right, welcome back to the Bunkies YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're gonna talk about Chia plotting tricks. So we made a video about an hour ago about how I built my rig and how I'm finding parts and hard drives and linking all this together. And now we gotta get into plotting. So I have another computer um, that's on the floor plotting away, and this one I'm making the videos on. So currently it's plotting, um, you can see right here, we got one plot at 86% and another plot at eight. So I'm plotting in parallel. But I wanted to show you a trick um, that I just learned that is worth uh, thinking about. This first plot here, this default queue, the one that's at 86, it's actually plotting to an internal drive within the computer as the final destination. And this um, default one is plotting to an external drive um, both external with the same computer as well. So what I want to show you is how to set up plotting in parallel and there's two ways to do it. So go to add a plot, plot size, I'm just sticking to the recommended, um, the K32. Um, don't do the 600, it's just for testing. Everything above is fine, but I'm just sticking to this one. Choose your number of plots. This doesn't matter, it's just the number you want to do. Now say I do two or more, and I select plotting in parallel. What it'll do is, so let's see, one have delay, so I can delay between the plots. Um, mine are taking, I don't know, I don't have the fastest setup, probably six hours a plot. Um, so plotting in parallel is really nice because I can get two plots uh, in six instead of one. Now, if you have faster computers and faster USB, uh, three, so 3.2 Gen 2 drives, this will definitely be faster, but currently I don't have that set up, and I'm trying to keep it on the cheap. And then you'd come down here, select an SSD, and select your final destination, which can be a huge slow drive. So what I did on the other one is, so let me back up a bit. So this is plotting using all the same settings. What I did previously is I did one plot, add it to the queue, set up the SSD, set up the final, and hit create. When I go back here, that's this one right here. To get this plotting a different way, I went to add plot one. I still left the add plot to the queue, but I came down here and you change the queue name. So if I say default two, this will start plotting right now and I'll have three plotting in parallel. I wouldn't do them all to the same drive, but if you have three drives, which I will once the Amazon delivery guy comes, um, I will set this up where I'm plotting to two here, so I'll be plotting to three different drives at the same time. Then here again, we'd set a different SSD, and then again that different drive that I'm hoping to get very soon. So if I come back to plots, if you see here on the queue, default one is a different amount of settings, and then just default. So if you see here, default one, there's only one in the queue. And then regular default, 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 these are just the internal drive that I'm using. So when this 87 gets to 100, it'll move it to the final plotting destination, and then it'll jump back to this queue. Default one, I didn't create two of these, um, but I very well could, and I will right now. So let's see, I could do one, show advanced, default one. And this one I would delay, plot in parallel, because mine are taking six hours. And this is in minutes, just so you know. And then you choose your directories and hit create plot. So hopefully that answers your questions about plotting in parallel. I did do it the regular way at first, where I just selected this one, selected multiple, and then hit go. But since I was using the same SSD and then the same final, it was super slow. It didn't matter that I threw 16 gigs of RAM and quad core at it. Um, I have a hex core. Um, it, none of that mattered. I did not see a speed difference. Now I am using old hardware. It's a 3.33 hex Xeon, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, but it really comes down to these slow hard drives that I'm hitting via USB 2.0, not the fastest. All right, so that's just a quick trick on plotting with Chia. 
If you have any other questions about Chia or Chia plotting or the hardware that I'm using, feel free to leave a comment below. If this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And lastly, hit that subscribe button to see more Chia videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.